What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and I have Mike with me, as always. <laughs> yes, yes, what's up? Season 8, Episode 11, The Walking Dead. Dead or, dead or Alive or Anus Vision? I mean, was that what the third thing was going to be? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel's it was a, it was, anus vision. <laughs> it was an interesting perspective. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I think that's what I'm naming this episode in our thumbnail. I think it's gonna anus, have to be anus vision. Anus vision. Yeah, it was. It was odd. I mean, <laughs> I guess we'll get right into Gabe and and Doctor. Why, Hansen. Mike? Why? Well, why is it how we just were so dis- disgusted? Why is it so this? dumb? I don't know. After last week. You know, I told you guys I watched these a number of times. I watched this again. Uh, I, I tried all well, twice. And did you throw up in your mouth a little the second time? It this didn't one get better. Yes, a little bit. It didn't get better. Um, I just thought that there was so much lag, and they drew so many things out. Now, listen, there were some good things at the end. I liked the Negan stuff. I liked, but before we get into all that, it's just it just felt like the swamp stuff was lagged. Um, the the Doctor Carson and Gabriel stuff, it it got they got nowhere. You know what I mean? They escape, which is a hard enough task, right, right? on its own, right. And they find this sh- this old radio. This guy's radio station. That, that was nothing. They used that for no- except the only thing they found was antibiotics for stupid Gabriel, who's sick and- with. We don't even know what he's sick with. Well, we don't know what he's sick what with. He sick, sh- did he shake someone's hand that didn't wipe their ass? They say that right? there's, there's, I mean, it was said on Talking Dead that it was it was from when um, uh, Negan saved Gabriel and they had to cover themselves with the guts. And that's why they say like... Well, right. He got sick from that. There's yeah. something, yeah, especially at the end when, when Eugene gives Negan the idea of the bio lot, bio logical weapon, yeah, warf- yeah. weapon warfare kind of thing that maybe some of the stuff got in his eyes or something and that's why it's affecting his his eyes which is interesting but uh, i mean w- it was just so stupid bear trap and then he's you know he's he reaches for the gun and one of the saviors shoots him right yeah, it, it was and then yeah like yeah for nothing like know? i said th- that's our only doctor what are you doing and then they close the back and drive away they don't try and help him they don't give him medical attention they just leave him there yeah, so and- so did he die and did Gabriel kill him in the back? Did, like wh- what happened? What happened? It was, it was weird. I, I mean, obviously, after watching it, I wrote a question that I was going to pose to you. I'll just tell you now: is is Doctor Carson dead? After because that scene didn't convince me that it was just weird, right? right it was just right. weird the way. All right, let's go. You know, they they yeah. didn't like you Don't said do they that, and they just. They just close the hatch and the and of the of the truck and they leave oh boy but on on talking dead they they and you know they had the the what's the thing they do with all the deaths like the oh the in memoriam yeah the, the memoriam thing and he was on there he was also guest on there the, the guy that plays Dr. so he's Carson. dead so I, I i would assume so i wouldn't think that they would announce his death as something you know right. finite it was a thing then, right yeah and bring him back but Listen, I, I just think that a lot of this episode they could have done in like a half an hour. Yeah. And I don't want to get into the fucking commercials either. Right? I mean, it's seven minutes a show, seven, eight minutes a show, and then four, four, five minutes of commercial. Seven minutes a show, four. F- it, it's just like the show competes with these commercials. It's just ridiculous. You're basically watching, yeah, it's like, it, it, it's. And it's the same commercials over and over because AMC is just pushing and pushing. Um, this uh, McMafia Mafia. and all. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh my god! So it's the same fucking three, four commercials. It's just driving me nuts. I hear you. All right. I hear I you. Just, I saw what they were trying to do. Gabriel's trying to. Oh, we gotta have faith. I'm doing this, and then he kind of blind shoots. He closes his eyes, and he he lets God. He lets look. He let Jesus take the wheel, man. <laughs> he let Jesus take the wheel. He did. That's what you but gotta was, do sometimes. It was stupid. And one last rant about the Gabriel Doctor Carson stuff. I mean, I I've pretty much just brought up like has been speaking but so they open what the fuck is with the key and this map or whatever in a piggy bank like what it, i i didn't the understand guy, that the guy the handcuffs guy himself hide it and then he he doesn't shoot himself with the gun right <laughs> instead he he does it even worse where he handcuffs himself to the bed 
takes a bunch of pills and wraps his head in a plastic a bag. bag. What the hell? <laughs> pick a pick a way to die, bro. I know. It didn't like work. I would have just shot myself in the head. Why would you give yourself? So he gave himself pills, handcuffed him. One hand, one hand by the way, one yeah. hand to the bed. You can use the other hand to pull the thing off if you wanted to. Well, I, I was like, what is going on? Like, what is this? Lie down on the, you better be lying down. Like, what are you doing? Like, and then, yeah, and he's, uh, he knocks over the piggy bank. He's sitting there for 20 minutes shaking. Like, what is right? happening? Like, I don't, why? I, I, I don't know. I anyway, mean, look, we've got five minutes of ranting about Gabriel and the dumb doctor. Whatever, go- man. <laughs> the only other thing is, only other thing is that he doesn't say that it was, ne- that it was, um, uh, Eugene. Thank you. I, was, I said yeah. 17 names in my head before I got, got before to you Eugene. got Eugene. Yes. Yeah, so also, he's back, he's back to square one. Also, well, I- right. And then also, Eugene, can we talk about him for just a minute? Sure. Man, what are you doing? Like, you can have her, you can give them, give her my dinner order and uh, make sure it's eggs with, um, what, uh, what did he say, onion? What did he want again? He said like onion and the other guy in the back is like, make no, sure no, there's we need peppers. peppers in there. As many as you can get. And do, you heard well, the man. Was chick, what was she doing there? Was that was she... his, he gave her, he, Negan gave him a chick, two chicks, the, 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 the chef or the whatever. The chef, one of the one that can cook, and then and one to like to wait be on like the guy. The, yeah, know. she's supposed to be like Give the waitress. Hand jobs. Who the hell knows, man? Whatever. He's so dumb. It's just so dumb. I don't believe him as that. His speech alone is an- is annoying enough. And yeah. it's like like if I was Negan and he's like yes or no, and he's like he gives it like a seventeen word answer, I would have just thrown Lucille at his throat. Oh just shut God. the fuck up. At, just answer my question with a normal word, you know. Anyway. Yeah, I'm so, wondering. What, well, I'm wondering with that. Let me ask you this: Do you think that now we see Eugene's, very, you know, obviously not making these bolts in the in the pace that Negan is hoping for? Right. Is is that a purpose thing, or is that just a um, trial by you know, like he's he's still not sure I mean, technically how to do it? You I know? don't know. No, he, he says he's got like he's got like three or four. He said he made three or four. So that's what I'm saying. So is he stalling on purpose? You know, to be honest, man, I don't know. I really don't know. Either he doesn't have the materials or he's stalling. But but then why stall? Why be stalling? But then tell them about about the biological warfare, which is which is. All not for nothing, man. That's not a bad idea. Like that's a sick ass idea if you think about it. That's true. That's true. You know Maybe what I mean? He, yeah. I, I, I mean, I don't know how well it's gonna work, but well, let's see how how Negan is how he Im, Im, is going to do right? this. Yeah. How is he going to do this? That was the question I yeah I wrote look. down for you. I mean, what do you like? How how are they going to? Because obviously, uh, we see Negan with the bat on the walker which was cool there was some cool walker stuff in this that was yeah that, one of the, that, that stuff was pretty cool the right? highlights the swamp walkers stuff like that it was cool yeah but are they gonna how, what are they gonna do if there's not enough ammo are they gonna just right are they just gonna throw yeah what are they gonna zombie throw? parts over over something that's why i wasn't sure are and they gonna put heads on a pike and like use them now and like hey hey like have the like <laughs> Like you know what I mean? Like what are they uh, that's doing? the that's the question I'm. I mean, I was the con- you were gonna tell me. Well, look, me I feel again. To. I feel the concept is sound. Like yeah, like if you could get that to work, but where? But where's your? What's your delivery system? What are you? What are you doing? That's going to get that? You know, he says throw them over the wall. First of all, throwing an arm over the wall is not going to do anything. If you throw a severed head over the wall, yeah. you, if you threw like thirty seven hundred severed heads over the wall, that now you know now you're talking like someone's bound to get something. You know, but I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't have an answer, uh, really. He said, I think Eugene said, like, a catapult or something. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. They're gonna. He said to launch him over the wall, throw him over the wall. And I'm like, well, first of all, if you're talking about um, the hilltop, you're not, first of all, you're not going to probably get close enough to do that. Second of all, I mean, again, they do. are they manning every part of that wall? The answer is no. Yeah. But why wouldn't you just do what you did last time by crashing into the through the wall like you did last time to burn the place? Like... Man, yeah. look, whatever. I want to. I want to be done with it. I'm over that. What else you got? Uh, we can get into. Well, since we're kind of at the hilltoppy Eugene stuff, let me begin another rant with the long-haired 
savior. Yeah, it's like shut right. It's like shut egg. up. Can oh. we get can we get some extra? Shut. Are you kidding me? Shut your dumb mouth. Yeah, that the the other guy, dumbass the white boy. Shut hair. up, yeah. you idiots! Oh, like, what are you that's doing? That's gonna be that's gonna be the the a big mistake is is you know allowing a couple of these guys at a time to come out because something is gonna happen. No, you know what she should have done, Mike? You shoot the motherfucker in the leg. And you leave him there, and you let him bleed out. And if they don't help him, guess what? He's gonna die. Now you got a zombie. There you go. You want? Oh, you want? You want to walk around? You want? You want some exercise? Run from a zombie, <laughs> asshole. That's what you get. Yeah, that's right? what you get. That's what you want. I, look, I don't. I definitely agree with Maggie in being like, "F you. You're not pff, giving you that." Yeah. She breaks down because whatever reason, I don't well, really I, care. I think it's the call stuff. Like she oh, understands. Maybe, like... but fuck it, man. Look, just no. They. These are people that came to kill you. Mm-hmm. Why would you be nice to them? They've made their choice. They decided to be pieces of shit and kill other humans. So guess what? You're going to be treated like an animal because that's what you are. You stay yes. in a cage. That's it. You're done. Gregory, you could die with them, you piece of crap. Like, I'm I'm just... The problem is, yeah. Mike, the problem is, is you have these characters in, 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 in the comic, in a comic environment. You have... The characters and their, you know, it's very concise, and their, their, who they are, their quote unquote character is portrayed in in very small doses, right? Mm-hmm. That's how we learn who these characters are in a comic book, right? So there's not a lot, you know. So you have to be very selective. But you, when you have the ability to expand on someone's personality, once you know who they are, it's just like, okay, well, are they interesting enough to keep on screen? Of is their dial, and it's just boring now. Just go faster. I don't think anyone watching this show, whether you love it or hate it, will have any problem if you just went faster. Again, this show could have been another 30-minute show. Yeah. 25-minute show. Done. They like, build up a lot of these. They build up these. First of all, they introduce characters, and then they don't know what to do with them. They Or or they kill someone off like like Eric. And they try to build up like a character kind of episode with him, let him go out valiantly and all this kind of stuff. And then he's dead. So they, For a they character that a we never of, knew anyway. Yeah, they do so much. There's so much like, I don't know if there's too many characters and they want to kind of get everybody everybody um, to, to be found uh, interesting mm-hmm. you know, by us. But I don't know. Dude, it's just, it's they rush things and then they lag on things. And right. You know, Tara's driving me nuts now. Oh, it's come just... on. I know with that. And she's, she's, she, it's like, let's, let's go to the swamp. So, yeah. I don't understand. They're in the woods. The yeah. woods is big. What do you mean you can't do this or that? What are you talking about? You know what I mean? They're looking at the map and it's like, oh, it can't go here. They got it blocked up. First of all, how do you know what be? Yeah, I mean, unless Dwight told him, fine, okay. Well, Dwight, Dwight knows the paths that they uh, use. Right, I guess. Use. And the whole swamp yeah. idea, first of all, you didn't even... So you think it's going to be... You know what You know what was better was yeah. when um, Shiva died. That was a better swamp situation. That was more harrowing and everything. This, they made this big buildup of this swamp. You, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And then they're just like... It's just like, oh yeah, all right. Well, just a couple. I mean, the only redeeming quality was the swamp things that came out. That was that was cool. But again, it's so little, so far in between, such a small amount of time. And and while I'm ranting, the other thing that pissed me off is all of a sudden walkers start coming through, and and they're all like literally one guy just like glances over to his right and then just goes back to just staring forward again, leaning against the tree like. <laughs> so like so handle walkers it, right? are nothing now to you. To all of you, you're all just going to stand there. I mean, even not saying they sit there. And Tara's mm-hmm. like, mm, well, who's going to help me? Oh, well, I guess it's your turn. Come on, guy. Yeah. Come on. Here's a knife. Come on. I was like. Uh, Tara's about done, too. I th- done. She's, she's going to be. I mean, even in the beginning of the swamp part, when she throws the walker at at Dwight, <laughs> and says like, oh, he can and he's like, what are you doing, you idiot? And she's like, yeah. oh, it's just, you know, it's got away from me. It's it's just uh, I don't know, dude. Like they're pushing too much. They're they're trying too hard to deliver a message, and I, I don't know. I mean, listen, we know that Dwight was helping you. We know that he has a reason to help you because of what Negan has done to him, and and what what um 
Negan did by taking Sherry from him. And Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So this guy has a legitimate beef with Negan. Yeah. And like Dwight says, you saw me take out my own people. You, you know what I mean? And then in the end, he saves her again. You know, he saves her when he sees his, 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 you know, the saviors come through. all of them. Yeah. Yeah, it really. And it gets them to, but honestly, to Hilltop let me ask you, Mike, unscathed. Right. But know? honestly, Mike, did he though? Cause they were walking by. They no, but even... the guy, no, the guy says, oh, the, the swamp? guy says, oh, we, oh, the swamp is, is a path right through this way. Oh yeah. Okay. And that's where Tara and, and Dwight were. And that's when Dwight said, no, I just came from the swamp. So whatever. He, I mean, he saved them, yeah, and then he in did the it end, again. Of, and then Tara, yeah. then all of a sudden, Tara's like, "Oh yeah, he's good, he's fine." Yeah, he saved, and then Dwight, and then Daryl kind of changed. Like mm-hmm. it was weird kill because, yeah, I'm gonna kill the son of a bitch. Meanwhile, he just saved you, and and you were the one that kind of was defending him in the beginning of the episode when Tara was being a dick to to Dwight. Yeah. So it was just, dude. There was just so many things that drove me nuts in this episode. We mentioned it already a couple of times. This episode could have been wrapped up in a half an hour or so. Yeah. Listen, the end stuff, the Negan stuff was was cool with with Eugene. Dude, how would um, how would you feel but, if I said I was I was starting the root for Negan at this point? <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. You but know, I, mean, like, I guess everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Yeah, the best so. best pe- the best part of the show of this episode was Negan. Um, I got another question. Yeah. Well, it's not. It's not a question. It's more of an observation. I love how they just they they got plenty of gasoline. This is this is driving around, no problem. It's kind of been the case. It seemed. Look That's at all fine. these That's fine. trucks and yeah, it's fine. look at the garbage pail kids that have yeah. garbage trucks. Yeah, it's fine. Fr- <laughs> it's fine. I got plenty of gas. No problem. It's been like six years. It's fine. No problem. Gas is gas of scare. Uh, gas of plenty. All right. All right. Um. All right. Look. We're about we're almost twenty minutes into this piece. Uh, yeah. You got anything else for me, man? Because I no, I mean not really. It's just one I'm, thing. One of one of our one of our friends um, le- uh, made a made a comment, left a comment on the, on Facebook because after the episode, you know, we posted, yeah. uh, you know, what do you guys think, blah blah blah. And it's one of our boys, Ernie. And I don't know if you saw the comment or not, but he I said understand. last week, Ernie hated the episode, and we kind of enjoyed it very much. And this episode, go he goes, I, lo- I loved it. I thought this was a great, great episode. And I'm just like, it's just so funny how everybody's, and that's not good or bad on either side. Who's it's just how saying, we are all, how we're it's all. Just how, it's so different. And how everybody's stuff, opinion yeah. of the episodes, are, you know, can be so, so different. It's just so funny. And, and the expectations of what people enjoy seeing on the show and, you know, like me, I always like the reunion stuff. Like I liked Daryl coming through the gates with the baby and yeah, it wasn't much. I mean, you didn't hear Daryl say Carl's dead. We got attacked. You saw him kind of, you know, you saw him mouth the word. Cause I think that music or something playing over it. Yeah. So it's just like, I enjoyed that stuff and I'm sure there's people that hate that stuff. It's just, you know, it's just funny. It's just funny how everybody sees through different eyes, you know, and not butthole eyes. Like uh, a boy, Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah. Anyway, so you know, having said all that, why don't you let <laughs> yes. us know what uh, whether you guys like this episode or not? I will say, yeah. um, I you know, thank you to all. Um, I call you guys regulars. You guys, you guys are on all of our videos. You guys are having conversations with us and and between each other, and mm-hmm. that's awesome. And so you know, for those of you who you know are, are in here every week with us, you know, thank you very much. Just it's awesome. I love I love reading your comments and interacting with you guys. Um, absolutely and, absolutely uh, mikey where so you mentioned mikey mentioned facebook where else mike yeah we can get of course a uh, third person pod uh on instagram we've been putting some stuff up there all the social media stuff is up here right am i right chris Got it. right above us so it's all third person pod check us out show us some love and i agree with chris the the, the love that we get from our regular viewers our regular uh, subscribers it's awesome and that's why we do this so check yep. us out Check it out. And uh, so that's it. And uh, like, here's hoping to episode 12 being better. I think it's going to be much better. Well, I'm Rick's going to be, gonna opti- be in optimistic. it. Rick's going to be in it. And I, I will say this last thing as they were going, uh, oh, Rick's back. And I was like, yeah. And then it ends. I'm like, right, I'm done. <laughs> Later. Whatever. So, yeah. all right. So we'll see you on the next episode, guys. Thanks a lot. See you.